is up, guys? I hope your weekend was well. I know mine sure was. I got to go to Monster Mania in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And Monster Mania is a con that I go to a lot. They usually have three to four shows a year. And every single time that they go to Cherry Hill, I make sure to go there. Their guests are always amazing. And this year they managed to get Michael C. Hall, Barbara Crampton, and you know, just a lot of a lot of icons in my eyes at least. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Monster Mania is my absolute favorite con. But I have to say, I went on Saturday and it felt really disorganized. We were waiting outside in the rain just to get into one of the buildings where a lot of the celebrities were. But again, you know, I, I get it's probably hard to run a convention out of a hotel, but maybe don't run it out of a hotel. Um, that's just my opinion, at least. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but definitely felt a little disorganized this year. I'm one of the 10 people in the world that hasn't seen Dexter, so all the reunion didn't really uh, interest me. They had Jennifer Carpenter, Michael C. Hall, who's Dexter in his first con ever. Um, CJ Lee, I think, was one. And yeah, just most of the Dexter people I wasn't that interested in meeting, although I did meet someone from Dexter, just not for Dexter. I'm explaining way too much. <laughs> so I'll get into what I got. I bought a collectible for myself and I also got autographs from a lot of the celebrities. Um, I'll tell you the prices for each one and maybe a story or two about the guests that I met. So let's start off with the one collectible that I got for myself. Um, I got this little Mars Attacks action figure. I spent $20 on it. Don't know if that's a, st a steal or a ripoff, but I was really happy. I never see Mars Attacks stuff really. So whenever I do see something, I have to buy it. I love, love, love the movie. And I've seen it, I think, 44 or 45 different times. It's just so rewatchable. And I actually grew up collecting the cards, even though they were probably before my time. Now we can get into the autographs. I got to add James Remar to my little Tales from the Dark Side poster. And uh, I got to add him alongside Debbie Harry. And yes, that Debbie Harry. <laughs> Debbie Harry is mostly known for her uh, music career in Blondie, obviously, but uh, she was also the main character, I would say, in Tales from the Dark Side. It's an anthology movie, but she's like the wraparound story. And James Remar played Preston in uh, one of the stories that is told, uh, Lover's Vow. And he wrote Cameron, then signed James Remar, wrote his character name Preston, and then uh, Lover's Vow, which is, again, the story that he was in. He was $40 in autograph, which I think is a fair price. He was partaking in the Dexter reunion. I think he played Dexter's dad on the show. Again, I didn't watch it. Um, but he took his time with everyone. He made sure to shake everyone's hand and didn't rush people at all. So he was really, really cool. The next person that I met was Thora Birch from The Walking Dead. Most people were meeting her from Hocus Pocus, which I feel really, really uncultured, but, but I haven't seen that either. But I did see her in Walking Dead. She played Gamma. And although you can't really see her because she's wearing someone else's skin, uh, she was really cool. And she was, I think, $50 in autograph, but it was one of those, uh, like her price fluctuates depending on what you're getting signed. Luckily, I wanted the cheapest option. She wrote to Cameron, rock on, signed Thora Birch, and then wrote her character name Gamma. I really like The Whispers in The Walking Dead. I don't know how many of you guys watch it, but uh, I still like it and I'm gonna stay with it until the end. Uh, this is its last season, so I don't have much longer to go. But yeah, I really, really liked her character and I'm kind of disappointed in that she wasn't in more. The next person that I got to meet was Anthony Michael Hall from the movie Halloween Kills. I love the Halloween franchise, uh, with a few exceptions, uh, Resurrections and the two Rob Zombie movies. <laughs> I'm sorry if you like them, just not my cup of tea. But Anthony Michael Hall was $50 in autograph, but he was really cool. He took his time with people and he, he genuinely seemed interested in you. Like he, he asked you questions about yourself and I told him about how I went to see this movie day one in a packed theater and it was one of the greatest movie experiences that I've ever had. He wrote to Cameron, wrote, of course, Evil Dies Tonight, signed Anthony Michael Hall, and then wrote his character name, Tommy Doyle. So he signed in an awesome orange colored paint pen. He was an awesome person, really took his time with people. And even though he was the only the third person that I met, I knew that he was the VIP of this con. The next person that I met, um, he didn't have that long of a line, but I would really still want to meet him, Steve Miner, who directed Lake Placid. And he also directed uh, Halloween H2O, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Friday the 13th, part two and three. So kind of a horror icon. Oh, and House, how could I forget House? He was really cool. He was $40 in autograph. And again, he didn't have a long line, but uh, with Monster Mania feeling like line palooza, it was, it was definitely a nice break. But I got to add him alongside Betty White and he wrote to Cameron and then signed Steve Miner. We talked about the movie um, and all of his movies because I'm a huge fan of most of his, uh, most of the work that I've seen of his. 
and I actually even got to get a picture with them, which was really cool. The picture came free with the autograph, which is kind of extinct these days. Not that many celebrities allow you to get a free selfie with the purchase of an autograph. So anyone that does immediately has my respect. He was really cool and really an honor to meet one of my favorite directors of all time. The next person that I got to meet was Derek Mears from the movie Hatchet 3, although I had him sign my Hatchet poster. He was really cool. Um, you guys probably know him as Jason from the Friday the 13th reboot, but I most know him and, and my favorite performance of him is uh, Hawes from the third Hatchet film. He was really cool. He told me a few stories on set, how he used to coordinate MMA fights and how he thought that he was gonna get into a fight with Victor Crowley, but for those of you that watched the movie, that's not exactly what happened. He was $40 in autograph and that came with a free selfie. I got to get my picture taken with him. He was really taking his time with everybody. I was probably at his table for a minute or two and that's probably underestimating it. He was really, really nice. The next person that I got to meet was also the cheapest person that I got to meet. <laughs> a nice break from the 40, 50, 60 mark. Uh, Jeffrey Combs from the movie, The Reanimator. I've seen him in a ton of things. Uh, House on Haunted Hill, Abominable, but my favorite role of his is easily Herbert West in the Reanimator movies. He wrote Cameron Parts and then signed Jeffrey Combs and then wrote his character name H. West or Herbert West as you can see from right there. And he was really cool. He told me some on-set stories from not only Reanimator but from House on Haunted Hill, the movie with uh, Jeffrey Rush uh, kind of uh, impersonating uh, Vincent Price. Last but certainly not least, the Scream Queen herself, Barbara Crampton from, again, Reanimator. She's been in a ton of things. You're Next, uh, Castle Freak, From Beyond. Um, she's really a Scream Queen, uh, but my favorite role of her is for, uh, Meg in Reanimator. She wrote Cameron, Hart, and then signed Barbara Crampton. And her, again, the really cool green color. Both of them signed in a color that goes along with the poster amazingly. It looks like it's a part of the poster. I love that. Uh, she was really nice. We talked for a little bit. Uh, I talked about how my mom loves loved her on the soap opera Days of Our Lives. She played Trisha Evans, I think. And she even let me get a picture with her, which was a really good price being that her autograph was only $40. Her line was really long and it was mostly because each person that she met, she took like five minutes with. And I, I love people that do that, really I do. It, waiting in line stinks, but when you finally get up there, it just makes it so much more worth it, in my opinion. So she was really, really a treat to me. So yeah, that's all the stuff that I have to show you guys. I had a blast at Monster Mania, even though it seemed a little disorganized and all I did was wait in lines most of the time. It, it, you just have fun. You just have fun at conventions. The horror community is just such a great community. All the attendees, all the guests, they're just so nice, so talkative and really personable. So I can't imagine my life without Monster Mania, honestly. So I won't hold you guys for any longer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.